I was gonna start planting these marigolds and dianthus in the vegetable garden, but then I realized I have a much higher priority that I need to take care of. I got some plants in the mail that were gifted. So little boy Odin and I are gonna get them. Yeah, they're bare root plants. So they need to get some compost on their roots before they die. So these came from Stark Brothers. And as you can see from being in the box from shipping, they've kind of turned white as they started to grow. So they had some damp newspaper wrapped around their roots, but they're already starting to dry out. So I need to get them into some nice healthy compost as a temporary setup before we can plant our food forest, which is a section that we're not prepared to start planting in yet. So that's right. That's the right concept. We want to put soil on the roots. Yay! You're such a good gardener. I'm probably going to use these pots to do it, but he's got the right idea. It's, it's the, the heavy enthusiasm that helps, right? <laughs> you like the garden? Yeah? You having fun? Gardening with your kids is a very rewarding time. It can be challenging sometimes because you do have to kind of monitor and help and such like that. But man, they're getting so many benefits from gardening. And really, you are too. All right, so I am going to just unpack what I have here and lay it out in this bed and figure out what I'm going to do with it. So this is Sparkle Strawberry. This is Surecrop Strawberry. This is Sparkle Strawberry. So they're each in packs of 25. That's a lot of strawberries, but the boys absolutely love strawberries and so do I. And they will definitely enjoy harvesting those over the years. And then we have a Tom Cord Seedless Grape. A Itasca grape. Ah. Yeah. And some Bristol black raspberry. Ooh, that sounds good. Never heard of that one. Uh, Adam's elderberry. One of Ryan's favorites right here. Pixwell gooseberry. He's super excited to have some gooseberries. Ow. The Annie yellow strawberry, uh, raspberry, Ow. and the Nova elderberry. So we will get these Ow. taken care of. You got some mulch in your shoe? Ow. Okay, hold on. Ow. Yeah, you gotta try not to get it in your shoe, okay? All set. Stand up. Whoop, you got it? Okay, then I also got some honey, honey yoy strawberry. Some sure crop strawberry. And two more little baby hydrangeas from my dad. So I might have to pot these in. I'm going to take a look at them when I get the plastic off and see if they need it. But I might be keeping them in a smaller pot for a little while. But I might end up potting them up into some good compost to help them get a good start this spring here in Georgia. It's a big adjustment for them to come from Massachusetts to Georgia. So I don't want them to be sad. I want to make them happy with some compost. Compost makes everybody happy, right? Makes me happy. All right, so I am separating each plant into a pot that will fit it. And then I'm going to fill the pot up with the compost. Yep, all right. Make sure it fits. And we will get this done. Mm -hmm. Ow. 
Get uh, out. Hear the guns? Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Hey. Go, good. Yeah. Don't pull those out. Owen in. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Leave it. Leave it, please. Please leave it alone. Mama. Ah. <gasps> you hear the guns again? Ah. I got some mulch in my shoe now. Ah. <laughs> Oh, good job, yeah. have thorns. Be careful. Out sharp. Shake it in. Make sure it's covering all the roots. Perfect. Oh, this is actually three different plants. Good job with that. Eh. Yep. All right, sometimes your cane fruit, like raspberries and blackberries, will be sent 
in clusters. So you do want to take the twist ties off of those. Um, Stark Brothers is one of the companies. What? You don't want me to do your plant? That will send them like this? But a lot of other nurseries do as well. Is this yours? Am I not supposed to touch it? You didn't want me to start without you? You saw daddy coming? Yeah. Oh, are you scared? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you pull them apart gently. I'm seeing a lot of new roots that have started. You see these white tips? That's actually grown since they were shipped. Oh. So I have to be really oh. careful not to destroy those. But you see ah, how ah, 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 ah. rooted that is? Ah, that is like ah, more than one ah, plant. Ah, so this has got ah, all these little... Ah, 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 hey! Shh! This has got all these little root cuttings, basically. I could break these roots off and probably start a new plant on my own. But I'm just going to put them all in one planter. You got mulch in your shoe? Mm. Here, sit down. Fast bucket. Oh, you had a whole bunch. Don't crawl. Don't crawl in the compost. You don't want to crawl in the compost and mulch. It goes down your shoe when you do that. everything except for the strawberries done. So the strawberries we're gonna keep their roots moist so that they will stay alive but we don't want to keep them too wet where they start rotting. So I'm actually gonna use that damp shredded paper that they sent them in inside of a pot and I'm gonna set them inside of that and just water it and um, and we'll be planting these really soon. Obviously, we need to. Although I still have so much more to plant, I think I'm going to have to call it a day. Ryan's gone in with the baby to make dinner, and I've got to finish watering in some plants that look dry and gather up the boys from their planting project and get ready to eat some dinner. I'm tired, but we have more to plant tomorrow. That's where the cat poops. Come 
on. That's why there's a hole right there, baby. Did you get cat poop on you? Where? Where you Liar. Come on. <laughs>